Hello, I'm Andrea and I've just been delivering a Geography Network event for teachers here in London. Our Pearson Ed Excel events are for GCSE and A-level teachers and they're free to attend and we provide current updates on our, our new specifications. And I'm just off to the Pearson offices now to plan our next wave of network events. In the autumn of 2018, we held 14 network events in London, Birmingham, Manchester, Nottingham and Newcastle, as well as online events. The GCSE events focused on the assessment of the new GCSE examinations. And as well as providing feedback on the written examinations, teachers had an opportunity to share their experience of the new specifications. So teachers who attended these events really appreciated looking at our exam plus scripts and applying the new assessment objectives to the 2018 mark schemes, then being able to take this information back to school to share with colleagues and students. I want to share with you two of the key areas from the GCSE Geography event. The first area is supporting students with fieldwork examination questions. And secondly, supporting students with extended writing. Fieldwork is now assessed in exams and on our specification A, we know that's in paper three and specification B in paper two. Candidates need to answer questions on their familiar fieldwork experience and apply understanding to an unfamiliar fieldwork context. Fieldwork is now worth 15% of the overall grade. And it's important to note that marks for fieldwork will only be awarded for AO3, the application of knowledge and understanding and AO4, the use of geographical skills. There will be no questions that will focus simply on recalling information from their own fieldwork. Candidates will need to apply their knowledge and understanding and be prepared to write evaluatively about all elements of their fieldwork and of unfamiliar fieldwork scenarios. As you can see, the stages of the inquiry processes, which teachers have always been very familiar with, but it's now important that candidates engage with all these stages of the inquiry process so that they can confidently answer both low tariff and high tariff questions on any stage of this process in exams. Finally, candidates need to be taught to critically evaluate resource material. When faced with resources about unfamiliar fieldwork scenarios, like the one on screen, candidates need to expect that the fieldwork investigation presented may well contain flaws and be confident to be critical of what's being shown. We know, because teachers have told us at our network events, that there are real concerns about the extended writing elements of the new examinations, the eight mark question. Candidates will need to know the command words that we will use, and these will always be assess and evaluate, and for specification A, examine. And although they are very similar in terms of what the students are required to do, there are key differences. Assess requires candidates to use evidence from located examples, case studies or resources to determine the relative significance of something, like the one you can see on screen. This is done by considering all the factors and identifying which are the most important. For example, the relative impact of two things or the extent to which something happens in different circumstances. Assess does not require a conclusion, although assess the importance of or assess the relative importance might lead candidates to a clear conclusion. Evaluate is used for extended writing questions where the candidate must appraise things by measuring the value or success of something and ultimately come to a definite judgment and conclusion like the one you can see on screen now. This is done by analysing and reviewing information and then bringing it together to develop a conclusion drawing on evidence such as advantages, disadvantages, strengths, weaknesses, alternatives, using relevant data and details from located examples or case studies. Our assessment guides contain lots more support for students with extended writing, such as bugging the question and the Peel writing framework. And the Autumn 2018 Network event is available for you to download. And this contains the presentation, the exemplar material, the Mark Schemes and Examiner Commentaries. I strongly recommend that you download that and share with your colleagues. And we're planning further network events for this summer 2019, where we're hoping to support you with your students with the AOs and extended writing. I hope to see you there, and please download all the materials of our website. Now back to my meeting.